Well, it's that time again. We love to get emails from you guys. And here's a question um, from Diana. I mean, the whole edible gardening revolution. I, you know, I've had a salad with a flower in it, and it was fantastic. I didn't know you could eat it. And then I saw the person across from me eating this flower. And they said, no, these are edible. And I, yeah. I didn't realize this was nasturtium. Nasturtium, that's a really pretty uh, yellow flower. It almost looks like a... A poppy, right. if you will. Yeah. Poppy. Poppies. Poppies. It has that yeah. kind of yellow, golden, orange look. That with a Caesar and some chicken. And you're done. Oh. Um, but there's also this great edible flower called a, a borage. Like what you have for breakfast. Porridge. Kind of like that. And How do you in, know? <laughs> you're a porridge person. <laughs> yeah. Well, you, I think you put porridge on your face That's for a nice why I'm dewy. cleansing mask. That's it, right. it, it, it is kind of a dewy look yeah. this morning. Thank you. Uh, but the, the borage is a beautiful blue, almost like a cobalt blue star. Wow. And so that's a great flower. But the question is, not only can I have edible flowers, but what do I do? I don't have any space, right? I don't have much of a, a garden area. I don't have really much more than a balcony. Sure. So I thought we could walk people, including Great idea. Uh, Diana, through this. Yeah. So first of all, you need to have seven hours of sun, right? Okay. So for make edibles. sure your balcony or, or your yard has seven hours. You've got to have that. But I think a great idea is to start with herbs. Or okay. we've also done salad boxes. I've done chives. You've done chives? Which are pretty easy to do. You could also do like salsa in a container with your cilantro, uh, your tomatoes. That sounds great. You know, maybe some bell peppers or jalapenos. <laughs> it makes you want to do the flamenco. I do flamenco in See? Espana. <laughs> so, I mean, hey, you know, edibles can kind of bring out the Spaniard in you. Well, yes, they can, <laughs> actually, yeah. And so can a delicious taco. Now, here's the thing that I wanted to say. There's nothing more beautiful than the color. in a, like not, Traditionally, in a salad, you're going to get some red onion, the green of the lettuce and the red of the tomato. Yeah. But to introduce a blue element, I mean, what a beautiful nice. look. And the be. yellow flowers. Oh, so man, you can great. do all that. Uh, another good tip if you don't have very much space is they have a lot of dwarf varieties of mm -hmm. edibles. So again, you aren't needing tons and tons of, of space because some of the veggies can take over like zucchinis. Yeah. Like pumpkin can take yeah. over. Sometimes the zucchinis just feel like filler to me. They are? It's not interesting in and unusual them? enough. Yeah, you know, I, I like a zucchini You put it in your marinara sauce sometimes, don't you? I have. I've been known to do that. Again. <laughs> well, consider maybe window box treatments. Now, you've done a lot of window boxes. Yes. You, it's a great solution for it. If all you have is a balcony, you can put yeah, your and the, and the only thing I would suggest is when you're doing window boxes is that you want to make sure that you've got drainage holes, weep holes, otherwise those boxes can explode on you when mm -hmm. the heavy earth gets too wet and over time those things will rot out on you. So you definitely want to have some weep holes on the bottom. But you're not crying. No, you're not you're crying. Not, you will happy, be if you lose the box to tears. rot though. So you're going to consider all that and then I think also if you uh, consider a theme Mm -hmm. then you're good to go because right. now you have your edibles but it's all in one category so I love I like salad. what you said you've got the the salsa in a box salsa in a box, salad salad box. In a box that's a great herbs idea. in a box right. um, and then the flowers in a box right right mm -hmm. what product do you love that makes the the flower are those flowers difficult are they are they are they the edible flowers invaded by be a bug sometimes I mean is it something you have to watch um, I mean, do the, do the bugs like to eat the flowers? Yeah, 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 yeah. I haven't known to see, I haven't seen them eat the flowers. Okay, good. They might want the nectar, so I think you're going to be okay. And it'll also attract butterflies and beautiful things. I hope Maybe so. Maybe hummingbirds. <laughs> I hope so. Yeah. So check it out and uh, keep the emails coming because yeah, you too can have gar have gardening in a box. That's it. You don't have to have a ton of space. Yeah, that's good. Easy. Let's do it. So follow us here at yourhomewizards.com and, and on Facebook. See Bye you. for now.